hello everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be uncovering my dna results so i did my dna from three different websites i did it on ancestry.ca i did it one the second one on 23andme and finally i uploaded my raw data from 23andme on my heritage to get my final dna reading so today i will be going through these results and i hope you enjoy it so a little bit of background on me and what I expect to have as results. Um, basically, on my father's side, I am fully Ashkenazi Jewish, so European Jewish. So I expect to have 50% of European Jewish. And then on my mother's side, her mother is from Morocco, um, a Moroccan Jew, and her father is a Yemeni Jew. So I expect to have 25% of Morocco and 25% of Yemen. So as a total, I expect to have 50% of European Jewish, 25% of Morocco or North Africa, and 25% of Yemen. Now, this is not going to be my first time looking at these results. I've already looked at them multiple times, so there's not going to be any, you know, surprises here. Um, when I initially looked at them, I did have some surprises, but now, I mean, I already saw them. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with Ancestry DNA. I have the results on my laptop, so I'm just going to go through it as I record this video. So the biggest portion I have is 51%, and that is European Jewish. Specifically, it says Jews in Central and Eastern Europe. Um, it mentions Poland, Moldova, and Eastern Europe. For the next portion, there's 21% of the Levant, where it says primarily located in Israel-Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, Syrian Arab Republic. Next result is 10%, and it says Southern Italy. Next up, I have, oop, I already looked at Southern Italy, the Arabian Peninsula. So 9% and the biggest highlighted region is Yemen, which makes sense because my mother's father is Yemeni. So I'm assuming all that 9% is from Yemen. And then I have 5% from Egypt. I have no idea where that comes from. As far as I know, I don't have any Egyptian ancestry or family. And last but not least, there is North Africa. So I know my grandmother and all of her family um, is from Morocco. So I guess that's where my 4% is. But I was expecting it to be much higher, like 25%. So this was a bit disappointing to find out that I'm only 4% North African. All right. So next up is 23andMe. All right. So now I'm on the 23andMe website. Um, my results are written right here on the left hand side. Um, here I have 53.7% um, of European, which is slightly lower than my ancestry DNA results, which had 60% European. Um, specifically, it says 50.6% Ashkenazi Jewish, so just like my ancestry DNA results, which had 51% Jewish. Um, it's very similar. Um, here I have Southern European, but instead of 10%, um, it's 2.1%. And instead of Italy, it's mostly Spanish and Portuguese and only 0.3% Italian. Um, next up is 46.1% Western Asian and North African. It says it's 35.1% Arab, Egyptian and Levantine. 19.7% of which is Peninsular Arab, specifically Yemen. Um, on Ancestry DNA, it was only 9% of Yemen, and on this one, it's 20%. Um, this one also has Egyptian, just like Ancestry DNA, but instead of 5%, I believe, it's now 9.3%. And broadly, Arab, Egyptian, and Levantine is 6.1%. Now for North Africa, this one specifically says Casablanca, Morocco. Um, Ancestry DNA just said Morocco. It didn't have a specific location. And it's 5.7% instead of 4%. Northern West Asian, Iranian, Caucasian, and Mesopotamian is only 
0.4% and broadly Western Asian, North African, which I guess is like non-specific region, um, is 4.9%. So overall, if you can see in the map, I have the same basic locations as I did on Ancestry DNA, which is uh, Europe, specifically European Jewish, and then the Middle East and North Africa. Finally, I decided to upload my 23andMe raw data onto MyHeritage um, because I heard that MyHeritage is better at Jewish DNA and it can actually pinpoint Jewish DNA that is not only Ashkenazi DNA. So as you saw on Ancestry and on 23andMe, they can only specify um, Jewish DNA for European Ashkenazi Jewish DNA. However, on my heritage, they can also pinpoint non-European Jewish DNA. So even Middle Eastern and North African DNA. So this is why I actually did it. It was free of charge to upload my 23andMe raw data to the my heritage website. And I'm glad I did so because I got some interesting results. So I'll bring you to those results right now. My, my heritage DNA results. Um, as you can see, just like the other ones, I have Ashkenazi Jewish about 50%. Um, the other ones had about 51 and this one has 49%. So there's a bit of a variation there. Um, they say specifically Poland, Germany, Austria, Ukraine, Eastern and, South Eastern and Central Europe, Poland, Hungary, Germany, and Austria. Um, now, where it differs on this one, it says 29.4% North African. Um, Sephardic Jewish. So North African Jews are known as Sephardic Jews. So unlike the other DNA websites, they did not recognize my North African DNA as being Jewish. However, on this website, somehow they did. Um, and for Yemeni Jewish, they also recognize that as Jewish. Um, as you can see, it says Yemenite Jewish specifically. Finally, for the Middle East, I have Yemenite Jewish 13% and Middle Eastern 3.4%. So unlike the other websites, this one was actually able to pinpoint that my Yemeni Jewish DNA was actually Jewish. Um, finally, for Asia, I have West Asia 5.1%, which is basically just the Middle East. Um, so... All of this was very interesting. Um, it didn't really shed much light on what I already knew. Basically, all of my results were expected except for the Italian, which I had no idea of. I was hoping to get something more interesting, but anyways, um, I guess I can say that I knew my DNA pretty well. So these were my results. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was somewhat enjoyable for you. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye.